Welcome, welcome everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Um, hope you're having a good day. We're on the first match of week two of the second rendition of the CTR World Cup. As usual, my name's Drask. Joining me for commentary today, we've got Tam. Hi. And then the Dashy. Yeah, I'm you. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of small time, never heard of me, probably. Yeah, I just found this guy randomly in the Discord. I felt, kind of felt sorry for him, thought I'd drag him in the call. Don't even know who he is. Yeah. So what's going on? What's this World Cup or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is soccer. Like, this is what you're So, <laughs> we got Germany versus Poland today. We've got the draft, it's already been finished. It's on the screen right now. Team Germany opting to ban Baron, Ruse Tubes, and Electron. Uh, don't really, don't really know what was going on in those bands. Gonna be mm. honest. Um, Poland opting to ban Tiger Slide and Out of Time. Little bit more understandable, especially for Slide, as uh, Poland wanted to ban SE Pulsewood and Germany did not. They have Mayen on their team, and Mayen is very solid at SE, so smart move to ban it. So then we also have Germany's picks being Dinger Canyon, Turbo Track, Mega Mix, Prehistoric Assembly Lane. Um, I'm kind of curious to see. I've seen a bunch of people practicing uh, the Beaker SGs. Mm. And I'm curious to see if we're going to see any of that today on either Mega Mix or Prehistoric. That would be kind of interesting. Because those are technically allowed. Yeah, and you can get such insane speed by doing either one. Especially, I feel the one on Mega Mix, it's a bit harder because you've got uh, the mines, of course, and a lot more uh, obstacles to dodge. But you can get such insane speeds there uh, that it's such a massive time save if you manage to get it right. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, even Prehistoric's pretty big yeah. as well for it. Um. I've mostly just been watching Topa do it, to be fair, but, you know, Topa's obsessed with... Yeah, it, it, that's, it's Topa. Topa's obsessed with <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so then we also have from Team Poland, their picks were Engine Labs. You can see five might be playing for them, mm. I would guess, possibly. <laughs> uh, Jungle Boogie, Meteor Gorge, Koala Carnival, and Tiny Temple. Now, I'm, I am a little bit surprised with those picks, but I also gotta be honest i don't really know what picks poland would normally pick anyways but i kn do know that you know if if five is in the lineup 100 percent chance we gotta do engine labs yeah i think um, and Always also been his thing i mean also like you said we talked you mentioned how the uh even the bands for uh this one were a little interesting like you said with poland theirs make a bit of sense with slide uh tiger temple i guess makes sense as well because um, like you said, people like Margin will know the, the starting lap grass on uh, Tiger Temple, which can save a substantial amount, as we've mentioned on stream before. Whereas I don't know if anyone in Poland knows it, but the tracks feel like a mix between, like you said, tracks like labs that are quite good picks for them, and then just uh, kind of chaotic tracks, like Boogie is a complete item hell, and then you've got Tiny Temple where you get hit once and you're just out, so... Very interesting picks from Poland there. I'm wondering if they're banking on this uh, divisive item place to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, I don't know if you looked, but uh, Katsu is streaming for our uh -huh, second POV. You. All right. So we do have four POVs for this war, which is nice. I wasn't entirely sure how many POVs we'd get for this yeah. one, but nice, nice. Something I've just quickly had a look at um, while we're waiting for the lobby setup is uh, what tracks Poland has picked and banned in the past. Um, so in last their last match against Australia, they also banned Out of Time and Slide. So Out of Time seeming like a track they're just not confident on, and Slide being a Pulsewood track. Um, but when it comes to picks, Engine Labs was a pick again. Uh, so was Assembly and Boogie. Um, but last time they picked Twilight and Hot Air Skyway. Um, as other tracks so they've kept three of their mm. five last picks which i think is interesting yeah and poland did not pick assembly lane so ah so that means yeah i guess 
technically one of their picks from last week was uh, picked for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. This is this is gonna be an experimental statement, so bear with me. But I will say, last year when Team Poland played, um, typically they were picking the less technical tracks or, mm. or banning out with the more technical tracks and this was before Pulsewood had even been found so you know they didn't have to worry about banning uh, like slide for instance um, and I do know out of time was basically perma banned for mm. them I mean we, we know out of time is like you know super technical you know not forgiving track as well yeah so not super surprising i mean and i'm not i'm not knocking on him by saying that dude i i hate out of time as well, <laughs> but i can definitely respect banning the more complicated tracks if you guys know that uh you are you know not as not as apt at them well, especially like you said, with and we uh... can see that even we can see that even like with the the picks that they picked though. You know, we got Engine Lab is pretty simple. Mm. Boogie is probably the most technical one that they picked. <laughs> um, and then you got Meteor Gorge is also pretty simple. Koala Carnival is you know the most skill based track in the entirety of Nature Field. And then even Tiny Temple is you know fairly simple for how punishing the track can be. I mean, I think like you said, with the exception of Tiny Temple, they've really gone for tracks that don't punish you as hard if you do get hit. Uh, Engine Labs being the fastest um, of their picks, um, aside from Temple. Um, if you do get hit, there are um, other ways to get Blue Fire pretty early on, even if it's slow Blue Fire, so you're not losing as much time as if you get hit on somewhere like uh, Out of Time, like which is they've banned. Um, another key thing is that the respawns on Out of Time are horrendous, which is I know something that many people in the community have a have an issue with where getting hit off of blue fire respawned you after it so makes hits even more punishing um on a fast track like out of time yeah absolutely um so i don't you have their POVs up. What are we looking at right, right now? So they... no one is setting up a lobby at the moment. We've got uh, people waiting. Uh, we've only got three POVs up at the moment as uh, Ratchet isn't live. But it so far seems like I, I'm assuming, given that it's just hitting the time now, they'll be setting up the lobby shortly. So it shouldn't be too much longer of a wait. Um, but once we have Ratchet's POV, we can jump to the to the main stage, as we'll call it, and uh, we can watch things unfold. It looks like Yane might be hosting. I am watching him snoop through the uh, invite menu. Okay, nice. And since Poland and Germany are near each other, we might not have to worry. I feel like the matches we've watched have been questionable connection. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like we this is probably going to be one of the better uh, connection quality matches that we might see. Yeah, I mean, it's, especially for right now. I mean, it's the big issue with, like, one of the main issues with the World Cup is that it really exposes the uh, the delicacy that is the this game's netcode held together by toothpaste. So when we're having countries from across the world compete, Finland, Australia, for example, um, it's just going to be such a rough connection that one side's going to have to be compromising for half the half the war and vice versa. So. Like you said, it's going to be nice to have a have a match this week um, that we're casting together where we should have a clean connection throughout without a need for a host change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> the Frenchies are inviting me to play Gartic Phone right now. Maybe we can. We'll, we'll have that. We'll have that up on the side during the load screens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're just sitting here like, dude, come on. I mean, you got to admit, maybe it's a little more tempting. <laughs> just stop casting, bro. <laughs> true. Who needs casters? We'll just have a uh, radio silence commentary. You can imagine the commentary. 
Unironically, I feel like we could we could get away with that for for a couple matches. Just you know, like not not to say like you know like the match is boring and doesn't need commentary, but more the part where like if we don't have anybody available to really commentate, but somebody could at least you know run the stream, mm. it's better than nothing. It's like those uh compl like complete your own adventure books. Where you like choose a path, except it's complete your own commentary. We'll just have the stream up blank, and everyone can make their own canvas from that. Yeah, I mean that's the fun part, right? You you can sit in a call with your friends as you're watching it, and you know you, you can commentate it to your your group of like three friends in the call or whatever. Yeah, see, like we've already this is already sounding better than any commentary we could pull off. I think we'll just go mute now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll be off playing Arctic final. Have fun, have fun, chat. <laughs> yeah, see you guys later. <laughs> All right, this is a fun one. Bye. Do I really? Watch? I mean, I think I need a break from guarding phone with with card checks. Fucking too much Among Us <laughs> jokes. I haven't played it yet, but I am keen to play it eventually. Gartic's phone, Gartic's phone, Gartic phone is fun. It's just a. Uh, it's one of those games where if you have a certain group of friends, uh, it gets old after like two rounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like, you know, we played with a group of 14 people and uh, pretty much every single prompt was different. But mm. by the time it got to the end of all of the prompts, there was uh, usually Among Us or like two or three community members that were, <laughs> were just the... Uh, being drawn. Amogus, haha, <laughs> <laughs> epic funnies. Come on, dude. You can't, can't talk shit about the, the epic imposter sussy <laughs> wussy amon bombos. My, my sussy bussy. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> this is the commentary you guys signed up for, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be doing Among Us commentary. High quality content. Yes. Yana out here looking sus. <laughs> um, I, d I do see. So apparently, a ratchet is stalling, hence why we don't have our final POV, which is very epic. Mm -hmm. Um, but I am seeing. I may just swap to this for you guys now, just so you guys can all be filled in in chat. Uh, but we are seeing Katsu might be hosting actually. Matthew has joined up the front. Um, so I believe Yanni's been sitting in his invite screen for eons, not sure what's happening there. Um, but I found it interesting because I'm pretty sure last match, I'm wondering if Zerd's not playing, because I'm pretty sure when they played Australia they had Five and Zerdzio up the front, and Matty and Yanni in the back. Five? I mean, Five is a very strong runner. Mm. If you know, he is playing, and I hope he is playing, because, like, you know, uh, he's, he's, he, he do be strong. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I remember seeing, like, I found it really impressive, because as someone who hasn't been in the PS4 community since 2019, um, he retired, 5 did, before I came in, and so he just came back recently for this World Cup and just started smashing out wars, pretty much matching over Western points in the practice wars I saw. So I found it just incredibly impressive how he can take such a long time off the game and then just come back and just delete everyone. So I've been excited to yeah. see him play. So maybe he's not on though. We're seeing Zerd um, in the front row. So it'd be, it'd be interesting to put five in the back. So I'm thinking he might not be available. It is a Thursday. So yeah, I am. I, I was not expecting a war to be happening today, I you know, you imagine paying attention to schedules. Yeah, I was completely right. expecting, <laughs> I was only expecting Friday through, uh, what is it, Friday through Sunday, Sunday yeah, to be the only times we yeah. get any of these. So yeah, we're seeing, the lobby is 6 out of 8, but we're still not seeing any, uh, any ratchets joining. Might as well switch it back to the yeah. intermission now that, now that screen people, give yeah. people a, a now chance that... to check, take a look at our checklist here. Yeah. yeah, and we can also see future matches we have scheduled. So, so far, we have three down the bottom which haven't been announced. So, we don't have any planned yet, 
for tomorrow, but we will see because, as I said, these three haven't been announced. But Saturday is looking to be a busy day with uh, three matches, and then we have two following that on the Sunday. Hold up. Doesn't the schedule literally have Finland versus UK? Oh, has that been updated? Yeah. Oh. Nice, that must yeah. have been recent. Friday the, Friday the 10th at 1900. Oh, cool. so we have a Friday match. Well, I, my uh, Photoshop skills aren't quick enough to edit that in in these few minutes, but it will be there for next stream. Post the PSD. Yeah, right. in social media. I'll do it. <laughs> epic, epic. Save me work. You can see my very scuffed job and then wonder how I ever got in this position. Uh, don't worry, I've had to work with Cerse already. <laughs> Cerse actually gives me a fucking aneurysm when I when I get my hands on his Photoshop projects. <laughs> my my excuse is- I know, I know you're here, <laughs> Cerse, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I, I have the excuse I'm learning, so... <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty new to, to Photoshop. Yeah, understandable. Alright, it's uploading now. Alright, cool. Alright, so yeah, it looks like we are just waiting on uh, Ratchet to join. So I believe once they join, we can have our final POV and the war will be able to get started. But yeah, as we were saying, with the uh, scheduling, we do have some interesting matches coming up. Of the matches yet to be played, um, I am really excited for Mexico versus Saudi Arabia, I think is going to be an interesting one. It's going to be one where, again, the connection potentially can be kind of rough. Um, I know some Mexican hosts do work for Arabs, but it's not consistent. Um, I think Italy versus USA is going to be an incredibly hype one as well. Um, and the match Dashi mentioned, Finland versus uh, Great Britain Island, is also going to be another top pick for me. I'd say they're the top three matches I'm looking forward to this uh, for this week of seeding. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean to say we're not going to be seeing other uh, other close matches. I think Peru versus Japan could be an interesting one. Um, not a matchup I've seen before. I don't know if they went up against each other last World Cup at all. I don't remember seeing them f just from vague memory. But I am keen to see which team will come out on top in that uh, matchup. Um, Chile versus Spain is another one I'm curious, and Latin America versus Argentina. Okay, looks like Ratchet is in the lobby. you to need to teach you to how to use text yes <laughs> you please don't need to make bound, you don't need to make bind, bounding boxes just click <laughs> <laughs> i've um i took Cersus template so <laughs> yeah it's fine not not throwing them under the bus <laughs> sure sure thing no no i promise i'm perfect i don't make mistakes All right, I have just... Okay, so Ratchet Stream should be starting shortly. They are in the lobby, so we'll be... Uh... able to go underway in a minute. Alright, looking like he streams live now, we'll just pull it up on the POV. Doing the, uh, my favourite tech of putting your stream live as the first race is loading. <laughs> Incredibly Man. easy for me to manage. Definitely, definitely fun, yep. <laughs> Alright, yes. we're here. Was that removing the feed for you guys? Sorry? I said I'm leaving it up for you guys. Ah, I see, I see. We've got, um... Dingo Canyon. 
up first. Yeah, I don't know can, what to expect with this one. I can definitely, I can definitely say it was a like it's obvious as it was a German pick. Um, looking at the players they have, you know, people like Margin incredibly good at this track. Um, if I'm not mistaken, is Margin the player? Does he have world record or? Uh, I actually I, don't know. I didn't, didn't know that. Ma no was offense, it, Mayin, be, but I didn't know he had a world record in any. It was case. either it's him or Barca. I always get them mixed up when it comes to time trials, so I could be wrong here. But I know it's a strong German track, regardless. So going to be okay, something new. Interesting. Up. Yeah. So we see everybody except for Yane and Ratchet, looks like, going for Big Boy. Yane pulling an early SE, and they have Reserves, which is kind of nice on this track, because yeah. Reserves are a little annoying. Then gets a Mask, going to use it unjuiced, comes through, taking out Barca. Kansu ends up getting hit by an Armadillo, I guess, and he's all the way up into fourth place now. We see Margin's Meanwhile, actually see... in the front too, with a, who had a mask. Shot straight up into first with that mask. I think he managed to take someone out as well, so we're seeing a, a German top two at the moment. Yeah, we see, I believe that's Barca and uh, and Mayen in, in mm -hmm. the top two, I think. At Bozzi, not Barca. Oh, okay, Bozzi's the, the regular yeah. duo. Okay, yep, okay. And then Katsu is even in fifth place, so, you know, definitely and kind we, of pinched into yeah. the... We see Ratchet was holding uh, third there, but gets taken out by a missile, though I'm wondering if that was a team kill, because Maddie was the only one near him, given that uh looks like fifth place was really far back. So we see Katsu come through the mask now, further comboing Ratchet, who's now just getting his life ended. Uh, Katsu Meanwhile, managed... Yane holding a orb not juiced though ends up throwing the unjuiced orb which is fine on this track since the pathways are so narrow nailing yeah. pretty much everybody actually we see margin dodges uh snakes into first there only passing his teammate bozzy waited by the turbo pad to hold fire again but the two of them are such a large lead here that it's looking pretty safe for the two of them Mm -hmm. Yep, we got uh, Mayin still in first place, followed by Bazi. Katsu in third, but he ends up hitting oh. a TNT that was placed in Big Boy, and then hits an Armadillo, and then gets comboed by a missile. Only There's loses one only spot out of fourth. it, but he, he does have a green shield right behind him. Looks like he's going to try and take that off there. I think his bomb missed in the end, so we'll see whether fifth place can capitalize. Uh, Ratchet with a mask in sixth. If he can juice this, he might be able to catch up to Katsu, especially since Katsu just lost fire and is getting comboed now. So this is looking like a pretty safe two positions for a Poland here, passing Katsu. Yeah, and if we try to take a look at our mini map here, you can see the top two is just gone. We see Katsu doing the epic gamer tech now, right now <laughs> with the super engine. Will he be able to use that through? And that's no, what I was thinking. No, it gets ended by Barca's actually mask. gets team killed there, yeah. Very unfortunate. He would have been able to secure at least sixth out of that, maybe even yeah. uh, fifth. And he ends up running oh. into that nitro as well and ends up losing the seventh slot yeah barely just barely okay so we do still see that top two from from team germany so that is winning positions for them which uh not as big of a win as i was kind of expecting given the way the race started so poland yeah. did kind of bring it back at the end there and I think that's a common theme that I've seen with Poland throughout this World Cup. I know we're in the early stages, but when they were playing last week, uh, it was something else we saw where they might have the other team might get a good break at the start, but then Poland did a really good job of actually bringing it back and minimizing their losses. So, mm -hmm. pretty yeah, pretty pretty similar to what we saw here. So I believe they dropped it only to a uh, minus seven with those positions. So we'll swap to the scores and see. So yeah, minus seven. So Germany with the small small win there. Um, not insignificant, uh, but as Dashi said, not the biggest win like we expected. I'm still messing with this Photoshop file, by the way. <laughs> gotcha. Just so we're clear. <laughs> so we'll, go we'll be going into uh, <clears throat> Engine Labs next, and... As we mentioned, it's a track where for Poland 5 is incredibly strong. 
So it was an interesting pick given that he's seemingly not here. Um, not to say the rest of Poland are bad at it, but it does really feel like you're ace when you have five on your team. I'm guessing uh, it's a pick that they've decided to go with because um, the whole team's probably just generally comfortable on the track. It's a it's a pretty simple track, especially in terms of, say, like, lines. Um, and just, um, as we said, not too punishing to get hit. So definitely a, a good safe pick I feel like a lot of teams go for, especially when they think um, they might not even know what they feel like picking. So Labs is kind of one of those default picks that I see a lot of teams going for alongside a track like Caves. Yeah, I think Caves is a very well-rounded pick for, for a lot of players just because it's... I don't want to call it simple, but you know what I mean. It, it yeah. is something that a lot of people have already learned and got their, their heads wrapped around. And I think that's an interesting thing, given how much more developed the uh, the meta is these days, is that in the previous World Cup, I really felt like we had teams that just completely and utterly dominated tracks. Um, if it was picked, a team would dominate it, whereas I feel like these days, a lot more players have learned a lot more tracks. So... It's, I feel it's a lot harder to get those safe wins where you pick a track and you just win by by 15. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is something we've been saying all throughout week one, especially a lot of teams have improved so much to mm. the point that, you know, this, this World Cup is going to be way more interesting because of that. Okay, so Engine Labs, are we going to see anybody doing some, some big gamer tech? I think most see people on our PVs Ratchet go tight. Uh, yeah, we see Ratchet did get squished for it though and missed their bomb. I think that was Barca that got taken out of the back as well. See Bozzy just see going Bozzy tight. with the early breakaway. Yep. And we Look, see Katsu coming through now with a mass. Takes down takes, one takes, of the Polish players. Yeah, it takes Yane out. One of the... Uh, German players, uh, the known B-Lane, has fallen quite far behind too. I think it's a nice little forward too. snipe on, the, on Mati there. And now he's all the way up into third place. Meanwhile, Bazi still comfortably in... Oh, never mind. Oh no, he's fallen off. Zared oh. also fell. So now Kansu is leading the charge here, and he ends up tagging the wall in that corner. Will he end up... No, it's it's Barca. It, it, it's it's Martin. Him behind him anyways. So letting his teammate pass doesn't manage to get Wampa though, so he does have to hold this shield. The only risk he really has here is running into an unexpected trap or a clock. Uh, so Wampa's not too far up, so he should be feeling pretty safe in second here. But we see that in third, Matty does also have a shield, so looking like this uh, top three will be protected pretty soon. Mm -hmm. yeah, and there's the blue shield on Kansu <laughs> yeah, now. And Bozzy got taken Bozzy. out by a missile there, so drops all the way down to seventh. Meanwhile, Ratchet still holding <laughs> two more missiles, but his teammate Yane is the one in fourth right in front of him, so yeah, he's Bos just going to throw those away. Bozzy has a juiced orb now, <clears throat> so curious to see what we're going to be seeing with this. We do see the top two for Germany do have shields, so likely I'm waiting. All of top four. Top yeah. four has blue shields right now. So looking so like... If this juice orb comes out, it's going to be basically just so he can possibly get up to like fifth through. Yeah. So. He took out he took out Ratchet with that orb, but I believe he was Ratchet was the only person who got hit by that orb, so that's kind of unfortunate for him as we see Yane falling off there. And bad news for him is that uh Bozzy gets another mask, barely misses the hit though, does get a pass as uh Yane hits that tight nitro, falls all the way down with Barca, who got taken out by it as well. Meanwhile, we still have the two Germans way out in front, I would say. It's probably about three or four second gap ahead of uh, third Matty place in there. Third. So yeah, we're seeing, I believe, Matty in third, uh, Zerd in fourth. So it is Poland in 3-4, but even so, as you said, it's quite a nice lead that uh, top two have here. So considering there's only one lap left, it's again seeming like a bit of a uh, deja vu from last race where top two is feeling pretty comfortable especially since Maddie just got taken out by something, it seems. Imagine Absolutely. hitting a nitro. We, we see both of our Polish players right now are, you know, chaining masks mm. with infinite reserves. Will they be able to catch up? The closest POV we can see for Team Germany is Bozzy, who is fighting with Ma... That's Mati, yeah. Yes, Mati. yes. Gets the pass on him, now protected with a blue shield in fourth place. 
with Zerzio about a corner and a half ahead of him. But we see Mayin is kind of close to where Zerd is at this point. So I'm curious if we're going to see on the mini map if Mayin is going to try to go for a slowdown tech to take down Zerd. But mm. it does not look like it. Looks like he just secures the safe top two, which is a which is a pretty good play in itself, given that that gives you a safe win. Top two always is a win, um, pretty yep, much. Um, so always at least a minimum of plus three. So it was a nice decision there. I believe they're getting a, probably like plus 11 at minimum there. It's quite a decent win, I would say. So very nice job by Team Germany there. First, second, fourth, sixth, uh, with Poland in uh, three, third, fifth, seventh, eighth. I'm going to have to do something to make all of these flags fit on this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was running out of room um, on it. <laughs> yeah. Last week it worked out because all of the matches were packed into three days. Now yeah. it's like four plus the to be announced ones still. Um, I'll mess with it. All right, my mass was only a little off. Looks like we got a... Uh... 13 point difference there uh, with the win going to Germany on that race. So starting off strong team Germany is here with a 20 point lead uh, going into the third race. So as usual, being early days, definitely uh, recoverable for team Poland, but definitely the, the showing Germany wanted to bring early on. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, so we've got a, the chaotic, but enjoyable to commentate, at least, Jungle Boogie coming up. So, I am curious to see how um, the people fishing for masks in the back are going to go, because this is a track that um, I'm sure many people can attest, but being on both sides of it, where someone in 8th gets a mask, uses it, takes everyone out, and just wins by like 10 seconds. It's a pretty common occurrence on a track like Boogie, Mine's another one that comes to mind. Um, so I am curious to see if we're going to be seeing that, um, or if this is going to be a, a very closely knit chaos at the start, um, trading missiles and bombs and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But like, furthermore... Fuck jungle boogie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's it's one of those tracks that's fun to commentate. Period. Cause then I don't have to play it, I just get to watch the carnage. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I'll have your uh, I'll have your schedule up Beautiful. after our after our next race. So, Jungle Boogie, Bozzy opting to kind of go a little bit wide on the shortcut, dropping off, does not forward bomb Zerd for whatever reason, ends up getting taken down. That instead. actually gives Zerd a bit of a breakaway uh, because of that. So Zerd actually got a nice little first there. Katsu is in second with a shield, going hard on the line to try and catch up to him as Zerd's unprotected currently. But uh, Katsu actually loses his shield and manages to capitalize by taking a bomb to take out a Yane there. And he rolls a triple bomb in second place, by the way. So he might be able to make, make yeah. use of that, but he ends up getting taken down by Yane, and, or not Yane, uh, Zerzio mm. instead. So now he decides to throw away his three bombs, instead gets a single <laughs> one, the NF smiling at him. Yeah. And misses the boost pad instead, now dropping down into fourth place with his teammate Bozzy behind him, who has fire. Bozzy going to t make the overtake on him with the never mind doesn't put on blue shield in time is he going to get this TNT off in time he does he probably has enough reserves to be able to survive that corner yeah, yeah that already has infinite reserves yeah, we're, we're seeing a, a top two by Poland currently but we were seeing uh Germany catching up but it looks like the unknown velo hit a beaker um so looking like this top two is looking pretty comfortable at the moment as Katsu not Katsu sorry Bozzy getting comboed there at the start line yeah, Bozzy is kind of getting bullied right now, dropping yeah. all the way into 7th yeah. now. 
also of note, Yannick just immediately both, pulls. Both PAVs have an orb. We see two. I don't think I've ever seen this. Not on Boogie, no. Okay, so this is just a a Mexican standoff. Who is going to throw the orb first? When we see Yanni throwing okay, his there first. Goes Yanni throwing his. And unfortunate for Ratchetus, he lost his shield um, right before he got hit by the orb, which actually allows uh, Katsu to pass, who then beakers him. Katsu does get taken out by Zerd, though. Wait, no, by Nitro. Orb. Oh my god, th third orb, as we see that uh, Bozzy's holding his and throws his at the end here. Takes out Matty with that orb, fails the shortcut. Oh no. Even after that orb, he might not actually get any positions from it because he failed that shortcut. It's such a massive time loss. Oh, he might, he might get Maddie. No, no barely not misses it by 0.34. Three orbs in a single lap, I believe that was. Yep, all on lap on five. End of note: the laps on Jungle Boogie are like less, like what, 20 seconds? Yeah, 20 seconds, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, that was a uh, interesting lap five. That's one way. <laughs> we'll see which team it worked out for uh, in the end here. I believe that was a small win for Poland. Uh, maybe a... It was a minus five for Germany here. So yeah, Poland winning that one by five. So a small win there, but it's nicer than to be pulling it back now. So only a 15 point difference after three races now. So we'll be heading into race four shortly, which is a turbo track. Um, or Retro Stadium, and this is a, a track where probably, yeah, one of the tracks here that we're going to be seeing the uh, the Gamer Tech on potentially, uh, particularly from Team Germany here. Oh, we're gaming, we're gaming. That's so, what I like to hear. <laughs> I'm excited. Some enjoyers in the chat. Yeah, I'm excited to see if um if it works out for them because I think an interesting note that we saw if we compare the last match Poland did was they agreed with Australia, as I don't believe either team really has plays that do SE Pulse, or they actually just played NMG, but because Germany make very good use of SE Pulse, this is where Poland are at a disadvantage, um, as I don't believe anyone on their current lineup uses SE Pulse Wood of the four, so... I don't think so either. Whereas I'm at the... pretty sure all four Germans can use it, to my knowledge. I don't know about Bozzy. True. But everybody else... I don't actually don't know about Barca either. But even so, at, at minimum, it's a 2-0 two, two to zero, uh, Pulse yeah, would use. Yeah, so it's definitely a massive advantage on tracks like uh, Turbo, and then we're going to be seeing Carnival coming up um, as another one, Mega Mix. So definitely seeing the advantage uh, in recovery and comebacks going to Team Germany on those tracks. Okay. The thingy is in. Yeah, they're just they've just let it in. So we'll just uh, start off this race once these cutscenes load, and we'll see if anyone goes for for the game attack. Eyes emoji. Alright, so pretty standard stuff to start off with. We're seeing Yane going wide as he usually does, only getting a canister though. Most other people seem to have gone fairly tight here. Bozzy getting taken out early on by a beaker. Gets caught in the grass, meaning he's fallen so far behind already. Uh, Katsu going for the squish on Yane and does get it, so we're seeing a first, a top two actually by Poland, but uh, by Germany, sorry, but Poland aren't far behind uh, with the Zerd in third place. Oh, we see Zerd gets taken out, so this actually leads to a top three for uh, for Team Germany here. Yane in the back with a mask, though, might be able to take Bozzy out here. Bozzy actually with a nice dodge here, so Yane going to have to uh, make sure he's protected from, from Bozzy. He's going to be able to make the advance here. We see up the front, yeah. the uh, top three have broken quite a ways away already. It's not a huge gap, but it's pretty substantial for only one lap. Yeah, there's a, there's a few second gap already on... Um... But this track is a track where you can easily, you know, uh, lose a bunch of time, especially if we see a clock or something come out. Because we, we see right now Kansu has a blue shield, but we don't really have an idea of what we're looking at for our top two at the moment. Mm. 
Meanwhile, Yane is still chaining masts. Seems to have infinite reserves as well. Very nice to have on Turbo Track. And Yanni yeah, pulls a yeah, and another and an orb. Now. So interesting note about orbs on Turbo is uh they they don't quite work very well. So we'll yeah. see whether he so, uses the orb. We'll see if it does do anything here. We do obviously see Katsu with the dodge here, looking like it doesn't seem to hit top two. I believe uh first did slow down, but okay. We, if we if we put oh. our eyes on Katsu right now, we see some gaming going on. He's gaming. He's gaming. Using this super engine. Will he gather enough speed and will he... Okay, so he is going to go zoom. He do be zooming, he's though. He zoomed. My guy oh. is zooming. Oh, and he pulls out the canister and he is now in first place by about a corner and a half on lap five. Flexing on his teammates there, going past much just only his teammates. His teammates. He just, over, but, just, you know? just, <laughs> just, just a little flex. Yeah. So we technically didn't really see a huge impact from the uh, the gamer tech. Uh, this no. this ma this race it nor, really was nor just from the, the orb. Yeah, so pretty unimpactful race in that regard. Yeah, absolutely. But another you know big win now for for Germany with that uh, top three. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and place the PSD back in there so you can gotcha, gotcha. have mine. Thank you, thank you. All right, so wow, look at that really lovely, gorgeous schedule on the right. Look, looks so nice. Um, we've got a 26 point difference after four races now in Germany's favor. So still definitely recoverable by Team Poland, but it's starting to slowly increase the gap here. So I know Poland's going to be needing to pull out all the stops, which is going to be a bit of an uphill battle given they've got a few uh, Pulsewood heavy tracks coming up, such as Mega Mix and Koala, which even if they do put G uh, Germany in the back on these tracks, uh, there's a good potential for a comeback. Yeah, I am especially interested to see how Mega Mix is going to go, especially earlier, like I mentioned. I've seen a lot of people practicing the uh, Red Beaker tech, yeah. and if we end up seeing that, it'll be very interesting. It'll be a flashback to last year, uh, which was also Germany, by the way. I don't think it was Germany versus Poland, but last year with Garma playing... Mm hit a red beaker and got a massive SG off of uh, Mega Mix. Almost was able to make a play and get a pass at the end, but unfortunately did not. But this is take two. Maybe maybe we'll see something this time. We'll see uh, red beaker two electric boogaloo in action soon. Hopefully. So right, here we are loading into the start of Mega Mix. Probably going to be seeing a few people like Yane as usual going wide here. It's a track where it's pretty detrimental to uh to lose fire early on um, if you get hit off the pad. But unlike a few other blue fire tracks, you can actually, if you know what you're doing, turn around and get fire back. So we'll see if anyone can successfully do that without getting stuck for uh for 20 seconds, which uh, I've seen before. Yeah, even if you do end up trying to go back, though, it is pretty... uh pretty big time loss so yeah definitely just don't want to get hit just like we see bozzy yep. right away getting squished as soon as he yeah gets the same with the same with katsu but both of them managed to seamlessly get uh behind the blue fire pad again but as you said you can see just how far behind the two of them who are the only ones who got hit have fallen yeah so absolutely did you see bozzy immediately getting a mask would have been nice for him to be able to get that off the start yeah. but it is we what see. it is cratchit lost fire so they've fallen behind bonked another wall there I'm clear with a Maddie lost fire too, it looks like, so, uh, and Yane, so, seeing a bit of a fire loss and death here, as, uh, Zerd is the sole Polish player in the top three here, with a slight breakaway from top two, uh, see if he's able to hold this, as it looks like third fell back a little bit here. 
And Bazi goes on the takedown on Yane there. Ops to not go for the shortcut. I guess he did not trust it being cleared. Yeah. He pulls another mask. Will he be able to... He's going to at least take Ratchet's shield off. No, he does take Ratchet out. Well. Okay. Was not expecting him to be able to get the hit as well. But yeah, Ratchet definitely going... Definitely good for him. Ratchet going wide here. Almost just gets the hit on... Hits, hits Maddie as well with the blue shield. And now he's all the way up into fourth place. So we see two, three, four, and seven for Team Germany. Meanwhile, again, Zerd's still way out in front now, probably about uh, three seconds at the minimum ahead of second place. So he's yeah, yeah, got so a little bit of room to breathe. Zerd's also probably feeling pretty safe from uh, anything that uh, second place can do at the moment, given that uh, it's a pretty unlikely range for missiles and anything to hit. So we see uh, top two have broken away a little bit here, but honestly, people are fairly close compared to usual Mega Mixes here. So we're seeing... Uh, Ratchet in the back, chaining masks here. Uh, Matty getting taken out into last here by uh, by Katsu. Now, if you take keep an eye on Ratchet right now, he's got a second mask, and we're gonna see is he going to be able to catch up to Katsu and take him down with that mask? Where's that? And he does now, and he does take down Katsu. Katsu tries for the dodge, but it wasn't enough. Uh, Ratchet deftly going through the uh, and swerving in to hit him. So we see Katsu falling into 7th, but it definitely hasn't fallen down to 8th, as uh, Matty has fallen quite far behind here, it seems, from that um, early on hit. Uh, Zerd has a massive lead now um, on the uh, the Germans in 2-3-4. Yane does have a shield, and a clock happens! Oh, and unfortunately for Yane, can't capitalize as as soon as his shield's gone, he gets hit by a mine. Yeah, and unfortunately, it was, it was a... It was a clock for Team Poland, so, you know, Katsu had a juiced mask in reserve, but, you know, was not going to use it, not knowing that there was a clock coming. So, Des despite... drops all the way down to 8th now. Yeah. Despite Yane getting uh, ended by that mine, he has managed to recover into 4th. Uh, Ratchet passed all the way up into 3rd as he was able to pass the uh, defenseless Germans. Uh bit down the minefield section so we're now seeing first third fourth in a sudden turn of events of uh positions for uh team poland here uh we've got second place being the only one uh for germany um in a top spot right now so we see bozzy has been yeah. red beakered off of the shortcut jump just has to sit there the more he jumps yeah, off Bozzy the longer it takes him to respawn guaranteed to be eighth place at this point yeah um will constantly be able to make a play no he's literally the only yeah, he's just gaming at this point <laughs> There's nobody he yeah. has to worry about, really. So it was a very strong clock overall. Um, despite the unfortunate mishap that occurred to Yane, ended up securing uh, some nice spots there for Team Poland. So I'm sure they're really appreciative of that that win overall that they've gotten there. Yeah, I believe that was one three four seven for yeah. Team Poland. So that is a win for them on that that race, and a, and a pretty decent one at that. So we're coming into halfway now, and that was a seven-point uh, win actually for Team Poland. So decent and decent win there, bringing it down to just a 19-point difference at half time. So I think from from general chatter um, I have heard around from this uh, about this match is that uh, people were pretty confident in Germany taking the win here. But I think uh, Poland, despite being uh, what I would classify as the underdogs in this situation, are doing such a good job of uh, holding their own against uh, such a powerhouse team, such as Team Germany here. Um, given that they're a team that d weren't really considered, um, I feel, this year, despite having, they do have some quite good players, uh, probably weren't considered in that real top lineup. They've um, managed to hold their own, and I'm really, really glad to see they've really improved compared to last year. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right now we've, we're at the halfway point, and they're, I mean, they're within a, a one match. Yeah. You know, there's 19 points. You can make that up exactly with one single race. Um, so that they're not getting slaughtered right now. You know what I mean? They they do have yeah. a chance to 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 hold their own here. Plus, again, this this is just seeding phase, so every point does does count. Mm. You know, so they even if they 
don't end up winning, as long as they end up putting up a good fight and not losing by a large amount, that's good for them still. And I think that's something really important that uh, people playing in the World Cup have to keep in mind is that it's so easy when you play this game, when you're just getting ended over and over, you just want to put the controller down and be like, I'm uninstalling, this game sucks. But it's really important, given how much points matter, to finish your matches here um, and not just give up. Because as you said, uh, even just a few position changes can result in you getting eliminated overall due to the point differences. Yep, absolutely. As uh, we went over during the other day's yeah. match. And of course this is week two. This is the first match that we've got of week two so far. So there will be five total weeks of mm. of our seating stage before going into groups. So I gotta take a drink real quick. Yeah. It'll be interesting to so, see how... Um, are we doing a host change or no? No, there was no host change. So they are loading into Gorge now. Um, or in the load screen, I should say. Um, but it seemed like one person just DC'd and reconnected from what I could see. So looking like everyone's happy with the host. And from what we can see on um, everyone's POVs here on stream, it's looking pretty clean for everyone. So we're just loading in now. So let's see how Meteor Gorge goes, which was a Polish pick. Yeah, okay, we're gonna see any poncho cuts here. That's what I wanna see. I think we oh we see a DC instead. So Zerd rage quitting, or well, maybe not, but <laughs> we'll classify it as a rage quit. <laughs> so Understandable. <laughs> I wouldn't want to play Gorge either. I relate. So just going back to the uh because he's DC'd so early on before the race even started, uh the match is gonna be well, this race is going to be cancelled, they go back and they're going to reform the lobby. Yeah, so uh, the CTR experience. Yeah. <clears throat> Fortunately, we have this was the first uh, DC that we've seen. Um, I mean, I'm, like I said earlier, I feel like this is going to be a match where we don't really see too many connection issues. Because, yeah. again, Poland and Germany are right next to each other. So hopefully... You know, good, uh, good connection. Yeah. And we can see that even in the POVs, we don't really see any sort of teleporting. Even the latency itself seems to be fairly mm. decent at the very least. No hits that are hitting literal seconds later. No, no Australia or uh, Saudi Arabia hits here. Yeah. All right. So while they reform the lobby can just come back to our scores and our tracks here so I think it's interesting because this has been um, quite a close match so far but looking at these tracks outside of saying that I believe that um, the comeback potential on Carnival is in favor of Germany I can't really tip any of these five tracks clearly in the favor um, of one of these two teams especially when you've got tracks like uh, like Gorge and Tiny Temple that feel just so chaotic um, it's hard to definitively give a team an advantage. Tiny Temple, I am surprised Poland picked it. I believe I would put Tiny Temple as Germany favored mm. because Mayin does know how to do the early blue fire strat and probably will go for early blue fire here. Yeah, that is that is very true. It's a um, more recent uh, discovery that's uh, only recently been implemented into races by a few people, not too many. Um, and it's not like it's something people are getting every time, so it is a uh, a risky strat. But if you, if uh, he can pull it off in this match, it can be uh, absolutely devastating for Poland as uh, he comes soaring through to take them out early on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, obviously, what what ends up happening is Mayan just kind of prays for a mask. If he gets a mask, then he goes for early blue fire. If he doesn't, then you know, just drive normal. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, one thing I was going to mention, though, is I do feel like a lot of Poland's picks aren't simply just simple picks, but I've, I've used this term before. I'm going to use it again. They're blender tracks. They're, mm. they're, they're, they're mosh pits. They're, you, when you don't really know for sure or you're not super confident that you're going to be able to beat your, your opponent straight up, you pick a track that's a little more chaotic where, mm. you know, if your lines are super good, it doesn't make a big of a difference, and it's more about you know who who does or doesn't get hit early on or more often. 
you, know, you got tracks like again koala carnival definitely a a blunder track something yeah. that pretty much just comes down to who's gonna get smacked the fuck up and who's not <laughs> so and that's the thing when you talk about time trial lines is when you look at a track like a, a carnival or gorge so someone who's really smashed out the track in time trials has a tirelessly worked to perfect their pb might only be like half a second or a second better than someone who just has a good pb that they spent a little bit of time on so really compared to tracks like oxide hot air skyway those more complex tracks that haven't actually made it into this war um lions aren't really nearly as much of a factor um in a lot of these tracks yeah absolutely <laughs> We see our sole VIP in the chat, the Clown Master, so <laughs> you do be coming home, lads. <laughs> so how is our how's our lobby rebuilding going? Yeah, so <laughs> they're in the they're in the load screen now. Um, they've just jumped into oh, a, a few min a few seconds ago, not minutes. Though it could be minutes with how long the load screens are in this game. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer, and we'll be starting this race. Yeah. I don't really know many strats about Meteor Gorge, I'm going to be honest. I, the, I, I don't know how this track really <laughs> plays the wars. The, the, main, the main strat I see people doing is going wide at the start and then grabbing the Wampa and then hard U-turning to also get the Turbo Pad at the start. So you can get an early 10 Wampa here, especially if you roll a mask when you go wide. I feel like that's the main thing we usually see. I see some people in the back trying to do. Yeah, I have seen that before. Uh, it appears Bozzy pulls a green shield and decides he's just going to go for TT lines. Uh, we see Yane riding right on Bozzy, which uh, could be detrimental for him. But yeah. uh, Bozzy is getting a little bit of a lead, and his green shield finally ends up going away. Well, yeah, the beaker, by the, green... the, the beaker no. that Bozzy hit uh, hit Matty instead of Yane. So third place falling all the way down, looking like going to go down to seventh here. So tops two still battling it out here. Bomb not connecting though. Yane going for the snipe. Barely misses though. The cliff takes it instead. We see Ratchet in third here now with Ten Wampa. Has a slight break from a. One of the Germans just went backwards there, which was interesting to see. It was Barca. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so we also see Kansu now with the blue shield. Not that that's a big deal. In sixth place, he has Cat infinite reserves. Takes down Monty. Uh. Bozzy is going to be fishing for Wumper right now as he has a green shield yeah. in his reserve. And here we go. He's going to have the blue shield right now. He's got a decent lead over Yane, so he's probably not going to have to worry too much now as long as he doesn't make a major mistake. Especially um, since looking at... Yeah. power item comes out. Well, especially since but... looking at Yane's lines, um, <clears throat> he's just going for pretty consistent safe lines here. Uh, so we see Bozzy, even though he's lost his shield, is just gaining because... Oh, gains another shield, but he is just going... For the tight lines, Yane's just deciding to hold the f second and not challenge it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Bozzy's been known to have fairly fairly good time trial lines, so it, it makes sense to not try to push yourself too much and yeah. try to catch up if you, you know, can't really do it as well. So just securing the safe second place is definitely and I, I think, uh, and it, an option here. <laughs> I think we should look at Bozzy's point of view here, see if the, there's no mask taking it out. Oh, there were five TNT and Nitros on that snow cut. I was excited to see them on Bozzy's POV, but it looks like someone came through with a mask. <laughs> but he ends up dropping a Nitro there instead, but it does not appear that anybody yeah, did... hit it. Uh, yeah, Katsu <laughs> cleared it there. Yeah, so... Oh, and we see Katsu. Oh, oh, so close. That was a that was a good attempt. Good attempt, but unfortunately didn't play out for him. I appreciate the uh, the content, Katsu. May yeah. not have landed it, but I love it. So the person that swapped out, I didn't pay attention to names, but it was actually a, a sub out. Uh, Barracuda has joined actually in place of a uh, margin. Yeah, so. What? Did see it? Did see a substitution there, which is interesting. So yeah, I only saw people just dis someone disconnect and reconnect. I didn't realize it was a uh, substitution there. So interesting pick of a sub there. Um, not that Barracuda's a bad player at all, but uh, Margin's a very incredibly strong player. So interesting sub in a close match like this, especially since he was performing quite well. Twenty eight points at half time is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, I'm curious if something came up and he just wasn't yeah. able to continue playing. 
because I would not have expected him to be subbed out. So we do actually see that ended up being a minus one uh, for Germany there. So incredibly small win for Poland there, but given that it's uh, still, as you said, only one match away from snatching the lead, I'm sure Poland is just happy to uh, prevent Germany from sneaking away with the lead here. Yeah, I mean, right now, if, if Poland were to top four Koala Carnival right now, they'd be ahead by one point. Yeah. So, you know, that, that's how close we are at this point still. And, of course, I mean, top fouring Koala Carnival is uh, not, not, not something easy. But, yeah, <laughs> just, just casually you know. top four A-track low. It's easy. Just win. Like... Just, just do it, <laughs> man. Oh, why haven't the teams thought of this yet? I don't know. Just drive faster, lol. <laughs> You're getting out lines, just go faster. It's not that hard. Just pick a better engine class, <laughs> idiot. Yeah, who who wouldn't play speed? What an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so Koala Carnival, as we said, is coming up. Very uh, chaotic item track here. An interesting note is that there is a frame hop at the start that's the most common uh, uh, fast strat that we see people going for. There are other strats, of course, but not ones that we usually see people going for in an item race. Um, but when it comes to the frame hop, as much as it can give you a breakaway, uh, something that it can also do is put you within perfect range of a bomb, because with the desync, even though you're ahead on your screen, you getting the frame hop can just put you right in front of someone so they can just press circle and just end your career. Yeah, absolutely. Plus, obviously, it's not like a frame hop is something you can guarantee is going to happen every single time. Yeah, we're going to see people uh, go see for what we it. Get. Nobody no. getting it, though. Catcher getting taken out by a Ratchet's Beaker there, a forward throw there, which is nice to see. Uh, Ratchet blowing up to a TNT, I think, <laughs> from someone else. Um, hard to see. <laughs> yeah, just just blew up. Interesting. Um, and so we're seeing uh, Ratchet in the back with just uh, infinite reserves now. Not amazingly helpful. Oh, loses fire, though, hitting the wall for that item crate. So that's really unfortunate to see. Does pull an early orb, though. Um, it's almost like the game's apologizing. Uh, Bozzy getting taken out early on. So we're seeing uh, still a really close pack, though, um, especially since the blue yeah. fire is not much faster on this track, so getting and hit's not hot still too have bad. not seen Ratchet get any Wumpa either, and he's now all the way up into 6th instead. The See real if question not, is, is not, he going to... No, not opting for the under-tunnel uh, Wumpa there, which might have been really helpful for him. So we'll see if they grab the Wumpa up here, if they're going to keep getting robbed. Yeah, it looks like... Okay, he ended up getting one of them, but yeah, I was going to say, he's straight up just getting robbed of like every single crate aside from the ones that he has to kind of go out of his way for. Yeah, it does have it's 10 Wampa now, one, though. though. So we see Katsu with a sh not with a shield anymore as he takes out Maddie. Um, little does Katsu know that could spell his disaster. Looking at uh, <clears throat> the t top POV, we're seeing... Looks like two shields for first and second, but Barracuda shield getting taken out here. So now... Oh, maybe Katsu not getting gaming. taken out. All right, Katsu zooming up. Gets the squish on Yane, which ends the pulsehood. But pretty effective squish there, getting... Uh, now a clean top three for for Germany with another engine for uh, for Katsu here. Yeah, that could be very help for him, helpful for him, depending on when Ratchet decides to use this uh, this uh, orb. But he ends well, up using the engine instead to get infinite reserves because yeah, uh, reserves well, are very tight on Koala Carnival. It makes sense. And Ratchet loses his orb. No, he used the orb. He used the orb and then oh, fell off the and then he fell off the track. <clears throat> he was um. He was top four, uh, Germany were top four and Ratchet was fifth, so it did make sense to use it. But we do see a second orb, which is disrupting all of Germany's plans here. So Germany had that really delicious breakaway there, but seems like that's all been ruined. Uh, first place is still miles ahead. They're gone, but uh, yeah, Poland, with... Is just gone. <laughs> <laughs> Poland with those orbs have really brought this back so far. But we'll see if Katsu can take out Matt here with a mask as a Bozzy getting ended on the turbo pad. Should still be not able to hold fire. So looking like a rough lap five for uh 
Team Germany, they do manage to take Matt Matt out, but looking like a 2 3 for Poland is looking pretty safe now. Yeah, and is Kansu going to lose his fourth place position? That is the question. Looks and like he's safe. He does but... hold on to it there. Yeah. Germany locking down the 1 4 5 7. So I. Uh, math hard. Yeah, I. I think that might be, is that a small win for Poland? But let's see, we really need someone who knows maths to be on the panel with us, because us two are just sitting here with our Mongol brains, like, uh, numbers hard. But I, I do believe, yeah, it, I think I... I think it was a small win for Poland from the positions I saw, but I could be wrong there. I think it was like a plus three. We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Plus three for Germany. So I was half right. I had the three correct. That's about it. So only a 21 point difference still. Quite a small win despite uh, the seemingly inevitable top three uh, leading into lap five. So the orbs really did help Poland bring it back there, but it wasn't enough to secure a win. So... Coming into these last three tracks, they're going to need to get some wins now to uh, to try and pull back the victory. Yeah. They uh, they don't have a lot of time left, and these next two picks are from Germany. So, I'd expect them to be slightly stronger than Team Poland on these tracks. Yeah. I don't really have anything to say about prehistoric and assembly lane. I mean, I don't... Uh, I, you know, <laughs> I mean, pre prehistoric is a track that I don't think anyone enjoys the start of prehistoric. For those not aware, it's basically very early item crates, very early blue fire. Put those two things together and it's just not a fun time. So usually people just close their eyes and pray that they don't die. So we'll end up seeing how the start of prehistoric goes as it can actually really... Uh, determine how the rest of the race goes, depending how many people and from what teams break away. Yeah, um, I mean, basically the start of Prehistoric is like Pompu's Pyramid, but with a blue fire pad as well. So. Yeah. Yeehaw. <laughs> and and the problem with blue fire, as people would expect, is that it's so much faster, so losing it is just that much more detrimental. And let's be real, on Papus, no one holds fire anyway, so... True. I just called myself out there a little bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how many people are going to have to turn around to hit the STP here? Ask the real question. Place your bets in chat. My bet's two. I'm going to be tame today. Two is reasonable. Two yeah. seems pretty average for a, for a war race. Yeah. Looks like Ratchet is one. No, like, yeah, it looks like... two, it looks like... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ratchet, uh, not Matty having as well. fun on the turnaround. Yeah, nice. No, it looks like three okay. people went back. We're we're not having a good time. Ratchet finally twenty five seconds in. Yeah. The <laughs> uh, so not a good start for Poland. As, uh, Yana is the only one in even remotely close. Well, Zerd has caught up a bit, but yeah, Yana is the only one in the top four here. Um, looks like Zerd is advancing on a. I believe that's Barca in fifth, who's going wide. So we do see the top two, um, kind of a flashback from Dingo Canyon, I have a really nice breakaway here. That missile very likely not going to reach, no. So yeah, Yana going to be doing his best to try and catch these two, but for one, doesn't have an item. Uh, two, does have to worry about Barracuda uh, right on his hiney, so... Does get a shield, which does help as a buffer here, um, but obviously a shield's not going to break top two. Yeah, and we see Katsu in first place with yeah. a blue shield as well, probably waiting on uh, Bazi now to either back spam and break uh, break Yane from uh, the pursuit. 
or he's gonna just fish for a blue shield himself. Uh, was he? If he can actually hit a box, though, I Ratchet... think he's missed like three boxes in a row. Yeah, Ratchet had an orb <laughs> and did throw it, so we'll see how this goes. I think it did take out his teammate Matty there, um, but we'll see how it goes at the it's front. A... Takes out Bozzy. Bozzy ends up hitting the wall right there, right before the blue fire pad, to make sure he could uh, regain fire after getting hit. So he so ends he... up losing second place, now all the way down into fourth place. So Yanni did manage to come up into second because of that. Doesn't have very much lead uh, compared to uh, third place, which is Barracuda here, um, but did manage to secure that second so far. With uh... yeah, and we saw Bozzy ended up running out of fire as well, and then yeah. ended up getting comboed by a green shield. Now dropping down to fifth, so we see a with two, three, four Ra for with Team Bomb. Ratchet coming up with not only or a not mask two. but a bomb. So going wide to kill Bozzy here. Uh, given that Maddie's in the back, that is potentially a good idea if he didn't realize that. Uh, Bozzy had no fire there, so looking like Ratchet's going to get the pass on fourth place here as well, which is a uh, Barracuda. So currently looking like two four, uh, two three four, sorry, and the seventh place for Poland. And we see our two Polish POVs plus Katsu all with shields here, so uh, looking pretty protected for the most part here. Um, given that we've not got very much left of the race, it's just going to be focusing on keeping ahead of the people behind you. I fear Bozzy may run out of so, fire again. Yeah, so Katsu fell off. No, he pulled, um, he pulled I didn't see whether he just got a moon jump on the shortcut or if he tried to dodge an item, but he fell off of the bone cut. And if we have a look, it's allowed Yane to pass up into first. Katsu jumping over the slow blue fire pad. That is just terrible. So that's allowed Zerd to catch right up. Uh, we'll see whether it actually puts Katsu in close enough range to be taken out here. Yeah, it looks like Bozzy is just not having a very good time either, just trying to get something back here in 8th to, to move forward. Yane instead with a blue shield holding down decent lead over 2nd place, which is Kansu, who yeah. has, as you said, Zerd right near him. If Zerd gets a juiced bomb here... Um, oh, Katsu losing fire, dodging that beaker, but it looks like Zerd... No, Zerd didn't, so Zerd's going to be able to get the pass here, potentially. Um, or maybe, maybe he did lose fire. Oh, he gets the bomb! Takes out! So Katsu uh, ends up losing second place, yeah, now so that's a to third place. Guaranteed win now for, for Poland there with that, and we see Bozzy coming up on Matty here, just going to be able to take away some points there at the end, getting a mask hit on uh, on Matty. So looking like a first, second, fourth, and eighth for uh, Team Poland there, so it was a very good job by... Uh, by Team Poland to bring this back, um, just as we said, they needed some wins and they uh, they delivered. Yeah, that's a that do be a win for Poland, pulling it back a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how much they're pulling yeah. it back by with that, but uh, it, it's it's a win. Let's put them in striking distance. It, it's a win, but we're just gonna stop guessing how much because we just keep being wrong. So yeah, I mean, like, gonna... I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm giving up on the numbers, dude. I just know like what are winning positions usually, and that's about it. So that was a nine point win <clears throat> by uh, Team Poland there. So only a twelve point difference with two races left. Yeah, Poland's still definitely within striking distance right now. Um, six points per race would get them a tie. So and if and that's just like top two plus some middle positions. Yeah. So if even if not that, another way is if they get two, three, four, five on both tracks, that's two plus sevens, which would get them the win as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. It's, it's going to be an incredibly close one, uh, depending on how this uh, assembly lane plays out. If Germany win this race on assembly lane by at least nine, then they will secure the win, um, barring odd penalties. Uh, Not even nine, by the way. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's it, it, well, if, well, I think they can't win by eight. You're right. They probably so, can't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, as long as you know what just, just don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah basically if if team germany ends up winning winning this next race it's going to be very hard for poland to come back or possibly uh impossible yeah. for them to come back depending on how it goes 
So yeah, assembly, assembly. assembly lane doesn't seem like it has too much going on most of the time. I don't know. Mm. I feel like basically the top like two or three people break away because they don't get hit off the yeah. fire pad, and then that's kind of how the top three play out. I feel like it. It's a really one of those tracks where. Uh, the start, I mean, we say this in a lot of tracks, but the start is really important on a track like uh, Assembly or Alley because of, like you said, the, it's so easy to just break away and then just time trial for five laps. Uh, on Assembly Lane, something that we do see is the uh, little mud at the start. Uh, something that some people do if they're feeling confident. It is risky on reserves as you can actually hop through that mud at the very start on lap one to save a little bit of time but that little bit of time save can be enough to get you away from the item spam and give you the breakaway. So uh, first and second here are going to have the biggest advantage when it comes to this. So I believe Katsu in particular being the host, uh, see if he'll go for this or if they're, everyone here is just going to be going for the usual uh, wide strat getting some items. Game. And we see Katsu is going TT lines, kind of. Like Bozzy, Bozzy did go through the mud there, but did hit the wall, unfortunately. So Katsu is in first here, uh, looking like... Yeah, oh! Looking like Bozzy gets taken out on the shortcut. That's a really bad place to be taken out. Has to go all the way around here. Katsu potentially with the breakaway with Barca and Barracuda behind him. Yane on top of Barracuda, though. So we'll see who comes out uh, victorious of the two of them. Yane goes around the stomper, which looks like it wasn't the best move in the end because it's allowed Barracuda to get just too far away for that bomb to land, so unfortunate there for Yane as he's fighting an uphill battle with only Zerd there to support him. Yeah, we see Bazi now with infinite reserves coming up on uh, Ratchet and use that juiced uh, mask there, going to probably be getting a takedown on Ratchet and Ratchet is going to spend an entire lap without fire. Yeah. And <laughs> Unfortunate for Ayane is that uh, Germany double trapped the shortcut, which was a nice play by them, allowing them to take out Yane. So now it's only Zerd who can contest Barracuda here for third place. So bottom three at the moment for Poland, but we've seen them come back from worse odds in this, even just in this war alone. So, And it looks like uh, Bars does get hit, drops down all the way to fifth. Yeah. Players. Making way for Zerd in second place. So Zerd, uh, we see Bozzy right next to Barracuda. Zerd has an army behind him, so doing a great job, hold, just going tight there with his shield to uh, to try and hold them off. As we see an unjuiced orb thrown, uh, obviously going for Katsu in first, but he has a shield, so that's not going to be really doing too much here. Ho probably hoping to hit the other people behind, but looking like Zerd managed to keep his shield and no one behind him got hit, so... Really, all we did there was remove Katsu's shield, but it does free up an item slot in the back so that the people behind can roll either another power item or start chaining masks. Yeah, and unfortunately for Bazi, he's not really rolling anything of use that would let him catch up to his Zerd here. Um, yeah. At best, he pulled a juiced missile, but wasn't able to really get anything out of it. Ops to not go for the shortcut. I think he's kind of just giving up on... Uh, catching up to Zerd, just gonna secure the third place, maybe? Yeah, I'm allows really allows sure. his teammate to pass, maybe potentially- Oh, we see Zerd hits a red beaker, which actually allows Barca to tackle with a shield. Uh, Zerd getting comboed, so now we're seeing a top four for Germany here, as, uh, as Bozzy loses his shield and almost hits that Nitro exiting the shortcut. Okay, that- this was a- a, a turn of events, I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> just like, oh yeah, I guess Bozzy's just kind of conceding second place yeah, and just, just hits a red beaker instead. Okay, so just, top four yeah, right just, now for Team Germany. And it's Kansu's a Katsu's still chilling all the way up in first with the blue shield. But it's not even um, just Katsu now. Have a look at how far ahead Barracuda in fourth is compared to Yane in fifth. This is yeah, actually Yane a pretty, is your, your fifth place. This is a pretty safe and, top four. Yeah. Not what Poland are wanting to see. And with only one lap left, I don't know what they could do. Even a clock at this stage, unless they manage to hit all three of them into the shortcut here, I don't really see how Poland are coming back from this. Yeah, definitely have their work cut up for them right now. Of course, we cannot see what Barracuda's looking like right now, but Bozzy does not have a shield, so on the off chance that the clock did come out, I mean, it would it would affect him at the very least, but I, that but this still is, wouldn't really be yeah, enough. It wouldn't be enough for them to win with Katsu and... uh. 
Barca cleanly getting uh, top two here. Um, I don't see this being any way Poland can win now. Yeah, um, definitely with Consuori finishing now, Barca, Bazi done, uh, and Poland has officially been shut out. But again, points do matter, so this last race is not just a throwaway race. They're going to want to try to keep it as close as possible with points. Yeah, and... But Definitely pulled a top four with Team Germany there on assembly lane, which uh, does not uh, does not sit well for the last race with them. Yeah, so it was a, a, a great job by Germany there. A very nice coordination there to organize and get that top four. Um, but even so, given how um, this war's played out, I think it's massive props to Poland, as we said. Um, I don't think looking at World Cup 1, anyone expected uh, Poland to be... Such a powerhouse and improvement here, uh, managing to go toe to toe uh, with the team such as Germany. So very good job by them. So what are the points going to be looking like after that race? I wasn't it plus twelve, and then they just got nineteen. Yeah, so we'll be seeing a so uh, 31, 31, 31 point 31, difference. Yes. So the best that, that Poland can do is bring it back to, again, a, another plus 12 um, if they top four on Tiny or tiny Temple here, which still would be a, a relatively respectable outcome. Yeah. I mean, 12-point gap is one of the, the smaller gaps that you'll see in a 10-track war like this. Yeah, even just getting any win here, even getting a loss in the 20s is uh, still quite impressive, um, I feel, We're keeping it pretty close overall. Um, we do obviously have the inverse that can happen where if, uh, worst case for Poland, if Germany top four again, they can bring this all the way out to a plus 50 difference, which is starting to get substantial, but it is Tiny Temple, yeah. so uh, anything can happen, of course. It's a very uh, fun track with no issues whatsoever. Yeah, we throw them in the blender. <laughs> Born it. We've got it on I max just speed. See if, oh, but we don't see Mayin though. I wanted to see if Mayin would go for the the blue fire, but I guess we're not seeing it. I like to think that's why he got subbed out. He's sitting there going, "I want to do it. I want to do it." And they're like, "No, it's too risky." And he's like, "I'm gonna do it anyway." And they're just like, "No, we're not. We're not having it." So they just subbed him out. I am curious to see if anyone else... I, I can't see anyone from, Ger from Germany, sorry, from Poland doing it, especially since I've seen them play this track before. It's not something uh, they've shown interest in, but other uh, German team members here? Can't say for sure, so maybe we'll be surprised. I, I'm going to go ahead and say probably not. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, just going to take a stab in the dark. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Bazi go. I don't think I've ever seen any of them go for it. At best, maybe Katsu, because Katsu goes for the content sometimes. All right, we'll, we'll see if we get some content from Katsu. Content with a K, just like Katsu. All right, let's see if we get to see some gaming here. All right, starting off. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have, oh, no, no, no. Looks like uh, Bass is going back. Didn't get a mask though. Looks like they turn around on the line. So almost saw some gaming. We got 50% gaming there. It was an attempt at gaming. Yeah. So we, gotta, we gotta give it to him. But meanwhile, we have Barracuda out in front right now. Gets missed by Ratchet though. Yeah, Ratchet is now falling down into seventh yeah. instead. <laughs> So we see uh, Yane actually getting the breakaway here at the start, so only a small break, but on Tiny Temple that can matter, especially since uh, with how fast the fire is, uh, a lot of projectiles just can't hit you unless they're throwing backwards. Yane opts to drop a tight nitro on the last corner, will that get anybody? Katsu, uh, Katsu gets hit question. on the fire pad, only saved by the fact he had an engine in storage, if he didn't have that he'd have absolutely no fire now, so... Bit of a uh, slightly lucky item roll there. You don't usually pray for an engine, but it worked out there. So we're seeing a top. We still see. 
Yanni, yeah, top three for Team Poland right now. Yanni is still out in front, no, cycling through items, a... probably hoping for a... Yeah. Oh, did Ratchet hit something? No, Zerd hit a beaker. Zerd hit a beaker, though, the Rilla. So, oh, yeah, looked okay, like it might have okay. been a trapped crate. So, Matt, uh, Maddie is in uh, second place there with Yanni in first. So, looking like they're holding it so far as uh, Bozzy hits the fire. That's so unfortunate for him as he gets comboed by a blue shield there. So Zerd does still have fire, so he is coming up with a mask, it looks like, on this bottom two. Does pass all the way up into a uh, fifth place here, actually, as Barracuda is miles behind. I don't know what happened to him. As we see a clock come out, um, I'm guessing from Team uh, did Poland, I'm not sure, because Gianni did have a blue shield. He's yeah. benefiting greatly from this. And you can see on the minimap, you have Gianni, oh. then Mari, and then... Pretty much like a quarter of the lap away, or almost a half a lap away, is uh, really? is Kansu. Really unfortunate for Ratchet. Tried to dodge the fire and ran into the wall instead. So this is actually going to allow Bozzy to pass uh, with a mask here. So Bozzy claiming up into a fourth here. So we see three, four uh, from our two German POVs. Yeah, absolutely. And we see Yanni. He's getting ready to, to cross the finish line with his blue shield, securing the first place soon. Um, Bozzy does not see, we see an orb coming see, out. Oh, Zerd throws Will an that orb. Be enough? Zerd throws an orb and then immediately gets hit by his teammate's mask. So looking like the orb won't do too much because uh, Ratchet already had no fire because they got hit off of blue fire by Barracuda's mask. So the uh, the orb didn't mean anything in the end. Anything. But it, it, was a, it was a win uh, to finish off for Poland. They got first, second, seventh, eighth. So that is a plus three total. So... Uh, for Poland, meaning that the final scores for this war will have a 28-point difference in Germany's favour uh, after these 10 races. Which is still kind of alright. Yeah. It's not, but... not great, but I mean, especially with them not playing with 5 today. Yeah. Um, definitely hurts them a lot. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's good to see that they did not get, you know, slaughtered. You know, they did put up a good fight. Yeah, this was uh, when people have what, like when I've asked, like what matches are you looking forward to? This wasn't one that people were expecting to be so like hype and close, and I think it was a uh, a great match overall. Um, I mean, we've seen it was only a a less than th a fewer than thirty point difference here. So, um, like you said, it's not single digits, not the most close down to the wire, but uh, still a very strong showing by both teams overall here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that does conclude the match between Germany and Poland. Um, tomorrow is going to be Finland versus UK and Ireland. Um, I don't, I don't know if you have anything extra you would like to add about this match, but, uh, no, my this, brain is this match was fried. pretty, um, I feel like we've covered pretty much everything that happened in this match. It was a close war, as we've said, uh, in earlier matches, uh, Germany put out a really strong showing, uh, GG's to them and also, uh, GG's to Poland for... Uh, having such a big improvement compared to last World Cup and uh, putting on such a really good show for us and uh, finishing with uh, only a 28 point difference. So, as uh, yeah. you've said, that'll be the end of this stream. So, looking like, unlike not usually when I've been hosting, there's no 4v4s on. There is a uh, an FFA going on though, so there is some content. Why so. is nobody streaming Gartic Phone from the comp? To, yeah, <laughs> from the comp pod. Where where we now only raid people playing Gartic Phone. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess Doom is yeah. there. Yeah, I'll send you guys down to Doom. He's doing an FFA here. Uh, for those that don't know, he's uh, from Saudi Arabia. Absolutely insane player here. Um, somehow wins like every FFA he does. Um, great in wars as well. Very well rounded player. Um, so go head over and say hi to Doom. Um, and as usual, thank you for stopping by and watching this commentary. Stay hydrated, and we'll catch you in... Hopefully we'll have a cast for tomorrow's match. What are we doing? Right. We raided, we raided.